Welcome to Salesforce in 5 minutes. In this video, we are going to understand what's trigger in Salesforce. Conceptually, we are going to understand what is a trigger in Salesforce. So let's say whenever we want to perform any kind of automation, like when an account is created, contact should be created, or before creating an account, we have to fire some kind of a validation, or if you want, if I'm going to update the account side field inside Salesforce while updating this account, if I update account side field, whatever the value I'm going to put over here, if you want to populate the same value inside the SIC code, in this cases, we can use trigger in Salesforce. We can also use flows, but if you want to write everything via coding, we can do it using triggers in Salesforce. So let's understand why, when, when do we use triggers in Salesforce? So let's say whenever I'm going to create an account in Salesforce, and if I want like, okay, if is active checkbox must be checked anyhow. Okay, so is active checks a checkbox must be checked anyhow. In such cases, we can use uh, we can write validation rule. Also, we can write trigger in Salesforce that by uh, like we can make sure that when uh, a record uh, whenever an account is created, the active checkbox is ch checked by the end user. If it is not checked, he will get a validation error. So this can be done using triggers in Salesforce. Also, whenever we want like if I'm going to update the website or if I'm going to update the phone in my account uh, account record this account record all the related contact phone should also get updated automatically this can be also done using triggers in salesforce so this all things can be done using triggers in salesforce so now the most important thing to in triggers is there are two contacts in triggers that is a before contacts and one of them is nothing but the after contacts so let's okay so this is one of the contacts is before contacts and context and one of them is nothing but the after contacts in salesforce so there are th these are the two different types of the contexts in Salesforce. So uh, like when do we use before contexts and like uh, let's con consider a real time example. So like if we want before creating an account, before creating an account, we want that active checkbox must be checked before creating an account. In such cases, we can use the before context. Uh, and let's say if we want, okay, if an account is updated, if account record is updated, if any of the field after the account record is updated, we want to update the same values inside the contact. So basically after the account record is updated, we want that the contact record should be also updated. In such cases, we use after contacts. So one of the most favorite favorite question of an interviewer is when do we use before context and when do you use after context. So basically before context is used to perform validation. So let's say a user is going to create an account and if the is active checkbox is checked or not we have to validate like if is active checkbox is not checked we want to fire an error or we have to fire an error message in such cases also we can use a before trigger so validation can be done using the before trigger also if i want to update the same object so what do i mean by that is let's suppose if if i'm updating the account if i'm updating the account number whatever account number i'm going to update if i want to update the same account number into the sic code so basically if when i'm updating the account i want to update the same object that account object of the same record uh, i want to update the sic code with the account number in such also cases we use before triggers update same object what do i mean by that is i am creating a trigger on account and i want to update the account field itself in such cases we use before contacts so these are the two places we use before context and in after context whenever we want to update like let's say whenever a account record is updated and we want to update some another record after the account record is updated we want to update some another record in such cases we use after context so what do i mean by that is if once the i am writing the trigger on account and i want contact fields should update So once I'm writing the trigger on account and I want once the account is up after the account is updated I want to update the contact fields we use after context when we want to update different object so when we want to update a different object we use after triggers and when we want to update the same object we use before triggers and also in order to perform validations we use before triggers i hope you understood what is a contact what are different types of the context in sales uh, uh, triggers what is a trigger when do we use trigger 
when to use before triggers and when to use after triggers. In next upcoming videos, we will understand with a real time example and we will actually code in Salesforce to use this before triggers and after triggers. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to my channel.